I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what's a movie tradesman doing、uh, out here? You know, they're all left wingers out there, left of Lenin. <laughs> At least that's what people think, but that's not really the case. There's a lot of conservative people, a lot of moderate people. Republicans, Democrats in, in、uh, Hollywood. It's just that conservative people, by the nature of the word itself, are play it a little more close to the vest, and they don't go around、uh, hot dogging it. So,、uh, <laughs> well, when Clint Eastwood took to the stage at the Republican National Convention and mentioned the conservatives in Hollywood, a lot of folks wondered where exactly those people were hiding. So imagine the reaction when actress Stacey Dash yesterday used Twitter to express support for Governor Mitt Romney. She's best known for her 1990s role in the hit movie Clueless. She was the best friend of Alicia Silverstone's character, and her Twitter feed exploded after she tweeted this with a photo of herself with an American flag. This is what she wrote: "Vote for Romney, the only choice for your future." Well, not long after, presumed Obama supporters began insulting Dash for her opinion. Some saying she isn't quote black enough. Uh, and it goes on from there. Joining us now is Ann Coulter. She's author of *Mugged: Racial Demagoguery from the 70s to Obama*. She's got a series of number one bestsellers. This is just the latest、uh, in、number、that three, series. Number three, technically. Really? Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, look, she's disappointed. That's how <laughs> successful she is in, in when it comes to writing books. All right. So Stacy Dash is probably not a name everybody knows, but they know that. Oh,、actress, I know、probably. the actress. I love that movie. Right. Yes. Okay. So this is just an ex- example of what she got in response to her tweet saying, "Vote for Romney." Uh, you're an unemployed black woman endorsing Mitt Romney. You're voting against yourself thrice, you poor, beautiful idiot. And it went on from there. That's that's only you know what I can read. That's what you can read out on、loud. the air,、Anne. right? That's how I found out about it that night. I got in, I started reading my Twitter feed, and saw the retweets of the bile directed against her. You know, I really admire、uh, right wingers in Hollywood. They're doing a very brave thing. It can hurt their careers. But there is no one braver in the world than a black conservative. What they go through, as Mia Love has seen, and Alan West, and Condoleezza Rice, and Clarence Thomas, Herman Cain, the list goes on and on.、Um, just the vicious, actually racist attacks. Not using the word Chicago or apartment,、um, which liberals claim is, is racist when a Republican says it. No, no, the N word we're talking about here. And then after after putting black conservatives. Through this this vicious hazing process, liberals turn around and taunt Republicans for not having more blacks in our party. Well, maybe if you'd stop harassing them, black people might look and see.、Uh, oh, the Republicans have a lot of ideas I like, like being against abortion and gay marriage. Unlike the Democrats, is it? I mean, is it racist in a way, in and of itself, Anne, to presume that all blacks would be supporting a black president? That they have this homogenous way of thinking, and and always Democrats. I mean, unfortunately, a majority of blacks are Democrats.、Um, I'm very sorry to say, but I'd like to change that. I'd like to change that with my book to point out that. Um, I would not say that liberals have been blacks' truest friends. <laughs> they, they really, they've, they've always used blacks to pursue other political ends.、Um, as I describe, it was always Republicans pushing civil rights legislation, being blocked by Democrats for five minutes in 1964. Democrats pretended to care about black people, and then they just started slapping the civil rights label on causes having nothing to do with black people, and in fact, often opposed by a majority today, of black people. But today, but in today's day and age, the the, the I think assumption is that democratic policies are better for blacks than republican <laughs> policies because <laughs> because they believe in affirmative action and they believe in sort of a hand up and a lot of blacks are struggling in lower socioeconomic、uh, neighborhoods and they believe that the democrats are the ones who are empathetic to that situation and not the republicans who favor the rich. That's the line. That is certainly the line, and it is absolutely untrue. I, I mean, four years of Obama. There was an article going around yesterday on the Drudge Report、um, that the four years. Of Obama has virtually wiped out the black middle class.、Um, that's just the economic point. Never be fooled into thinking that what Democrats care about is the poor, the elderly, minorities. What they care about are government sector workers, heavily unionized, well pensioned government sector workers who will automatically vote Democratic. They want the people ministering to the poor. They don't care about the poor. And as we've had this war on poverty, we've had more and more and more poor black people, in, in particular,、um, the destruction of the black family. I mean. The Worst thing that was done to black people since slavery was the Great Society programs. Surprisingly, also from my book, blacks had a higher marriage rate than white people did throughout the 20th century. Every every 
decade, year, they checked what blacks were more likely to be married. Great society programs hit, and that all falls apart, and now you have a 70% illegitimacy rate, which is incredibly destructive, yeah. more destructive than, than any policy Republicans, if they were as racist as Democrats claim they are. Now, that 70% uh, rate is just stunning and, and actual. I mean, we talked about it a couple weeks ago on O'Reilly, which is just a, a really disturbing number. I want to ask you about this. The, the issue of race, and the book is very timely because it gets into this history of race and race relations in the country. Uh, and, and as a political matter. And right now, as we have a, a black president, there seems to be an underlying theme, whether it's a, a tweet from Stacey Dash right. that gets ripped on because she's a black American, right, uh, not supporting the black president, or people who feel like they need to be apologetic for no longer supporting the president because he did make history and they helped make history when they voted for him. It was interesting to me, we saw Kid Rock, uh, who is really apolitical. He's really de described himself as more of an independent, but he's from Detroit. And he's really done everything he can to help that city. He came out. He's now uh, obviously seems to be favoring the Republican ticket and came out and said this when introducing Paul Ryan. Listen. I'm very proud to say that we have had elected our first black president. All right? I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry he didn't do a better job. <laughs> I really... I really wish that he would have. I do. What do you think of that? No, it's true, and that is ultimately the larger point of my book. Don't, um, don't f make the same mistake again, America. More white people voted for Barack Obama in the uh, in 2008 election than have voted for a Democrat. Than white people have voted for a Democrat for nearly 40 years. So obviously, white guilt was operating. People did like the historic idea of the first black president. I would have preferred that it was. Um, a black president who came out of the American black tradition, by the way. I mean, his father, part of the reason we, we care about this is because of the democratic legacy of slavery and segregation, um, something that Clarence Thomas, Thomas Sowell, uh, Condoleezza Rice actually experienced. He was the son of an immigrant. So yes, he's half black. We're very happy we had the first black president. Um, but don't make the same mistake again. It has not helped black people. It has not helped America. White guilt has never produced anything good. The book is called Mugged, Racial Demagoguery from the 70s to Obama. Thank you so much for, Thank seeing, you. for seeing, being here. And Coulter, everybody.